Hello crew. So yesterday morning after my walk, we had breakfast with the woman who does the sales for the timeshare condo organization that uh, Melissa is bought into. And I mentioned that I'd walked in the morning and she said, oh, there's this great path along the river the locals all walk on, you should go walk that. But she said, don't do it before it's light. Well, this is me walking along that path. And it was just before it was light, it was getting light. Um, along that path, um, it was really nice. There were a few joggers out, but um, about a mile down it, there's this tower with a bunch of steps. You can climb up and look out over uh, Puerto Vallarta. It was really nice. So, um, yeah, it was kind of cool. And then I took a loop back through a bunch of neighborhoods. You'll see me walking through here. And, um, and uh, after I got back to our place, I was out eating lunch or breakfast, excuse me, on the, uh, on the porch. And she walked by and she said, hey, did you walk that walk? And I said, yeah, I did. And I showed her the pictures. And she said, oh, that's my Puerto Vallarta which is nice. Um, so um, tomorrow, actually, I have charted out another similar walk. I'm going to walk the other direction because I ended up having to walk back on the main road. Um, and it was a little bit later. But uh, you can see here, actually, I'm walking up a hill. I got into the hilly part of town a little bit, which I really enjoyed. And tomorrow I'm going to try to actually walk up over the hill and, uh, and take a kind of a back road around, which looks like fun. And then I'll come back down the river walk so that I'm not walking along the main route uh, as there are going to be tons of tourists out on it. Um, so I guess I'm a tourist. I mean, you had this discussion when you were in Estonia where, you know, I want to go walk places where there aren't tourists and yet I'm a tourist. One of the interesting things I noticed on this walk is that, um, you know, for an American walking through these neighborhoods, they look kind of dirty. Um, but as I looked closer, I realized they're not actually dirty at all. They're, you know, it's just a different aesthetic. It's what, what things people worry about. And one of the things I noticed walking up through these neighborhoods where there were lots of people out sweeping the road and there were like old women and people with dustpans out sweeping leaves and everything. If you look at the road, it's really clean. Like they're out sweeping every day, cleaning off these roads. Um, and in America, you don't have that, right? You have, there's street, sweep, street sweepers that come by or something, but um, you know, it's, it's just interesting that there was such care taken for certain aspects, aesthetic aspects of the appearance of the town um, that are different from the aesthetic aspects that we would emphasize in a, in a neighborhood in the US. You know, we want our concrete all really cleanly formed and, and looking nice. Oh yeah, this is a bunch of tourists uh, doing yoga on the side of the ocean. But anyway, um, oh, the one thing I did want to mention was here at the end, um, this is that river that I walked by yesterday, and remember how I mentioned that it's a yeah, so muddy this river? river? Was totally turbid yesterday. It was brown. Yeah, can you see the turtle there? Um, yeah, it was turbid, and now it's not. Anyway, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. I'll make another video tomorrow. Take care.